<laughs> Three, two, one. Hi everyone, it's Katie and Brittany Corder from the Q Team in Rochester, New York, and today we're here to tell you in two minutes or less why you should consider <laughs> buying in the winter time instead of waiting until the spring. Yeah, so I thought this was really, really important to talk about because so many of our buyers that we talk to have the same question of, you know, should I wait until the spring market? Mm -hmm. Everyone tells me that the spring market is like the busiest time. Um, and it is in a lot of senses, which can sometimes pose to be a little bit of a disadvantage. So we right. want to talk to you today about the advantage of potentially starting a couple months earlier when the snow flies in the winter time. Number one being less buyer competition. So as Brittany just said, so many people are considering waiting until the spring because the weather is nicer. They think there's going to be more to choose from. They don't have to trudge through the snow. Um, but that also means that there's going to be that many more buyers that you're competing against. Yes. So every buyer that is out there that we work with that looks to go and buy in the springtime, they kind of see those same issues of, you know, they're going up against 15, 20 other buyers that right. are looking for the same things. There's, you know, potentially bidding more as multiple offers, mm -hmm. et cetera. Um, where on, on the flip side, uh, a lot of the times they might have, because there's less buyers out there and there's less competition, they might be able to, you know, negotiate price terms, you know, things that they might not be able to do in the springtime because they have to put their absolute right. best foot forward. There's a little bit competing. more flexibility for the buyers in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. um, and also what we find, especially coming off of this crazy market is in the wintertime, the sellers aren't testing the market. They're not sitting on the market saying, I'm not going to, um, to sell yeah for whatever you know my I have one price tag in mind if I don't get that I don't need to sell right you know, those sellers they're are real. usually yeah they're real sellers and they're ready they usually have a need to sell um, and a lot of times we can use that to our advantage mm -hmm. when we're negotiating or you know coming up to our terms with our offer so I think that's really helpful for buyers to know and think about when they're deciding you know do I wait until springtime or should I maybe test mm -hmm. this market and go right. out there now and save on the competition. Yeah, so um, I think it's important if you're thinking about buying and you're thinking about waiting until the springtime, you know, talk to us and kind of get a feel for when when makes sense. Should I maybe start a little bit earlier mm -hmm. and see if that might work to my advantage or not? Um, so yeah. So if you've heard anyone saying, I think I'm gonna wait until the spring, tag them in this video so that they can see why it might not make the most sense for them. Um, and if you find our content useful, helpful, like us, subscribe, uh, share. Yeah. Don't miss our next one. So we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.